Welcome to Stormwater Drainage Solutions. In this video, we're gonna be talking about blind inlet tees specifically and other corrugated and dual wall drainage fittings. So right here, I have two different types of blind inlet tees. I have a example that has not been used. And then I have an example that as you can tell has been used that we ripped out of a system that we are doing a new install on. So the thing about blind inlet tees, they're supposed to have two uses. The first use is a T fitting, where if you wanna connect a lateral into a six inch main line, and this would be your six inch main line running through here, this would be your lateral, and then you would simply cut this end off to open up the blind inlet so that your main line could run through. Now, they're supposed to double as an elbow. The reason why we would never use these for a 90 degree elbow in our pipe is because this area here, when water flows in and you're trying to make a 90 degree turn with that water, say you're in a tight area, you don't have a lot of room to work so you can't bend that corrugated pipe or you're using dual wall pipe and dual wall pipe does not bend so you have to put an, a 90 degree turn such as this right here. This would be the correct 90 to use in a situation like that. The blind inlet tee is supposed to double as both. It's a fitting that it was an idea, but in reality, it does not work well. So basically you would leave this as a solid piece. You would connect your pipe in here, connect your other main here, and then that water would, in theory, would flow and continue down the line. The reason why this doesn't work is because when water flows into this blind inlet tee and it hits here, this is a flat surface, as you can see, on the inside. So it's hitting that wall. Now that water is going to create a bunch of turbulence in here before it starts to travel down this path. It's also going to be traveling here and then being stopped by the plug. So what this is gonna create is when debris, when you have organic material, leaves, sticks, pine needles, tree seeds, any kind of organic material, as well as sediment and dirt that makes its way down this line, as that turbulence is kicking it up because the, the water is hitting the back portion here, it's gonna start to push this organic debris over into this area where your blind inlet plug is and it's slowly going to accumulate debris in here now tree roots love organic material and if there is a belly in the line or if that line is slightly holding water especially where you use this blind inlet tee as an elbow you're going to create a host of issues this is ultimately what is what happens now this blind inlet tee is slightly different than this one. There's, there's different types. As you can see, there's your plug. There's root intrusion around this one because this plug simply pops in and out. It's not an actual solid piece of plastic here. But really, that's not the problem because even if you were to seal this up, tile tape it, whatever you want to do to it, the issue is the debris that's going to get caught up in here. Now this system was ripped out near a bunch of bamboo bamboo roots are notorious for taking out drainage pipes they grow through everything and they grow all over now as you can see this thing is just packed full of roots this is the portion that was in the pipe before we pulled the pipe out of this blind inlet tee but it is completely packed full of roots in here i don't know how well you can see that with the camera but that is why we would never use a blind inlet tee for a 90 degree turn. If you want to make a sharp 90 because you're working in close quarters or you're using dual wall pipe, you need to use the proper fitting. This is a six inch 90 degree elbow. As you can see in there, it has a lot more of a swoop so that water doesn't create as much turbulence as it's traveling through here. Debris is not going to get hung up anywhere. It can continue to move down your six inch main line. This is the correct way to make a 90 degree turn in a drainage system when you're working with six inch and bigger pipe, whether it's dual wall or corrugated. You do not want to use a blind inlet tee as your 90 degree turn.
Now, what could you use these tees for? Because these tees, they come, they, they are useful. They come in handy. Whenever we use these tees, you'll never see us use them as an elbow. We'll always cut this portion off right here and we will eyelid, we'll use it in a few different ways. So we can use this to bring a grate up to the surface. We'll put a riser on here and we'll put a six inch grate and have an inline basin where water, an inline drain where water will dump into the six inch main and continue to move. The other thing that we use these for is a clean out as an access point. If we need to put a clean out somewhere in between that six inch main that we feel is a good place to put it, then we will bring this to grade with a riser pipe. We, we will either reduce it to four inch or we will leave it as a six inch and put a six inch cap on the top. That is what we use these tees for. The, other, the final thing that you can use this tee for is if you're discharging a six inch system, you can drill holes in the bottom of this you can install it like that at the end of your discharge so you'd have your main line coming in here you would put a grate of some sort on top of here a six inch grate you'd have your holes drilled in here and then you would wrap fabric and stone around the bottom so the water could leach into the ground after the rain event has ended while the rain event is spewing out water it's going to come out the top and it's going to go through that grate now whenever we discharge a system like this and we have to use a grate on here you know we will not screw that grate on but we will hook it on with a tether line that way on a heavy rainstorm when there's a lot of stuff coming through here if there's leaves and sticks organic material whatever it is it won't get caught on that grate because it'll be able to push the grate aside. The grate will float aside. That tether line will stop the grate and the water can push and move the debris out. So those are the only things that we will ever use these tees for. Now, if we need to co connect a lateral line into our system, this is typically the way we do it. We're gonna use a six inch wide. If we're building with six inch and we're, we're making a six inch system, then any lateral lines will usually be connected with a six inch Y. That way you have a better swoop on the system. Now, let's say we are putting maybe a, an AC drip line or a pool overflow line, something with minimal flow, then we will use, and it's going into a six inch main line, then we will use a blind inlet T six inch to do that. We'll have a four inch reducer that would connect on right here. But if it's going to be a high flow application, like a downspout drain, a catch basin that's gonna be taking in a lot of water, a channel drain that's gonna be taking in a lot of water, we always use a Y fitting for that. That way the debris can travel through here a lot easier and the water can travel through this sweep a lot easier you want to avoid this type of stuff right here at all costs now granted this system did not have any tile tape on it whatsoever so the roots could easily get in they just they would just grow right through the seams but they're also going to feed off the nutrients that gets caught and starts to build up in this blind inlet tea over time here at Stormwater Drainage Solutions, we not only install drainage systems, but we also test the fittings, parts, and materials that we use for our installations because we want to see what works and what doesn't work. Now, we have also ripped out hundreds of systems, so we have seen what works and what doesn't work out in the real world, and we know why these systems fail, and we know why systems perform well when they are installed properly with the correct fittings and methods. If you need an exterior drainage company, whether it's commercial or residential, give Stormwater Drainage Solutions a call at 813-614-3456 or visit us at our website at stormwaterdrainagesolutions.com. We can come out there, assess the situation, and help design a solution that fits your needs. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. It really supports us. It helps the channel out. 
A lot of times I'm making these videos when I get home from work and I'm working into the night to get them edited and posted out for you guys. We want to share our knowledge. The all we're asking for is your support and a thumbs up. Until next time, this is SWDS signing off.